Imagine if you could read someone's mind. Today I'm going to show you how to do that in a very specific set of circumstances, which is picking a card by using math algorithms. So here I have a deck of cards, exactly 21 cards, and I have a friend here to help me do this trick. Uh, what I'm going to ask you to do is look through these cards, pick one, look at it, and show it to the camera, but don't tell me and slide it back somewhere in this deck, all right? So one of the things I'd like to say about this trick is that there is absolutely no sleight of hand, there's no shenanigans, I do not actually know which card is being selected, uh, there's nothing happening off camera here. But in, in this deck there is one card that you know what it is, and I'm going to do an algorithm to select to find out which card you've actually selected. Now to do that, uh, an algorithm is doing a same set of steps or a process multiple times to get to a predictable result. In this case, the process is to deal these cards out in a very specific way four times, and each time as I make these columns, I'm going to have you select which column your card is in. Now you'll notice I'm doing a couple of things here. I'm dealing from left to right in three columns. I have 21 cards, so I know that there's seven cards in each column. Tell me which column contains your card. Okay, the one on the far end. I've also laid these cards out so that they overlap a little bit. That's going to allow me to stack these up and keep the cards in order. That's really important. So I'm going to make my stacks, and I'm going to pick up the stack of cards that you said was yours second so that that stack is in the middle of my deck. That's the entire algorithm. I'm going to do the same exact thing another time. I'm going to deal out my cards from left to right in three columns, making sure that each card is on top of the other one, overlapping a little bit. And now that I'm at the end, I'm going to ask you again, which column contains your card? This column. Okay, so once again, it's in that last column. Just happens to be that way. It's not always going to be that way. But I've made my stacks, and I'm going to collect that stack second. All right, now this is our third time, and I'm just going to quickly deal these out, but once again, in the same pattern. The important part of an algorithm is to do the same thing the same way, repeat that process. So here we go, uh, tell me which column contains your card once again. Now we're in the middle, great. So we will make our stacks. I'm going to pick up this middle column second. I'm putting it in the middle, and this is the fourth and final time. So I'm going to do this once again, but this time I actually know where your card is going to be in this deck. And once I deal all of these out, I am 100% certain that this Jack of Diamonds is your card. Is that right? Yes, you're uh, right. This will happen every single time. By collecting those columns in that specific way and having the column that contains your card in the middle, you're constantly forcing the picked card to the center of the deck. And that means that it is going to be the 11th card, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11 card, the 11th card, every single time. That 11th card is always the fourth card down in the center row. So use the power of math and algorithms to amaze your friends, uh, convince them that you can read their minds, and then teach them a little bit of math and you know, let them know that you're a pretty smart cookie. Wow.